I'm George, and in this Coral Fish Trilogy video, I'm going to be teaching you everything there is to know about phytoplankton. Then I'm going to tell you why I use Dr. Ecosystems Phytoplankton in my reef aquarium. So first, what are phytoplankton? Phytoplankton, also called microalgae, are small photosynthetic organisms that make up the bottom of the food chain. Drifting along in the ocean, phytoplankton turn light energy from the sun and carbon dioxide into the life-sustaining sugar called glucose. Phytoplankton consider to be primary producers in the food web, which basically means that they make up their own food and lots of other things depend on it as their food source. As primary producers, many marine filter feeding invertebrate in the food chain depend on phytoplankton as a primary or secondary food source. Many phytoplankton species are a nutritious source of omega-3 highly unsaturated fatty acids and all these other acids that I just can't pronounce. So, you may be asking, why should I be dosing phytoplankton? On a natural coral reef, phytoplankton are an abundant food source for many clams, soft corals, sponges, and zooplankton like copods. In the marine aquarium, however, phytoplankton are generally not present. Those aquarists in favor of dosing phytoplankton, therefore, are attempting to provide this natural food source to the invertebrates in their tanks. The argument for dosing phytoplankton is generally based on these two principles. One, phytoplankton are a natural food source for many filter feeding invertebrates. And two, dosing phytoplankton provides a nutritional boost for the clams, filter feeding, and other beneficial invertebrates like copods in the marine aquarium. Of course, there are also aquarists who are opposed to dosing phytoplankton in a marine aquarium. The argument against dosing phytoplankton is usually based on these two principles. One, many of the coral invertebrate species in the marine aquarium are not thought to directly feed on phytoplankton, which could make dosing phytoplankton a waste of time and money. And second, dosing phytoplankton in a marine aquarium also adds phosphates, nitrates, silicates, and can actually cause water parameters to deteriorate in an otherwise healthy marine aquarium. Now here's my experience with phytoplankton. I do dose phytoplankton and here's why I started. So I ran into a company called Dr. Ecosystems at an aquarium convention. They told me that they're the new kid on the block and to that I replied, so am I, literally. And so they introduced me to their products and I'm very glad I accepted to try them all out because now I dose phytoplankton in my reef aquarium using Doc's Eco Bites from Dr. Ecosystems Reef. And Doc's Live Eco Bites uh, is an omega-3 and omega-6 rich live phytoplankton supplement for your marine ecosystem. And I've been using it for a couple months now and it's increased the amount of microscopic life I see in my aquarium and in the small back refugium I have. One thing I loved about Dr. Ecosystems is that they send all of their live foods like phytoplankton in a duratherm and perishable labeled box that's going to come one or two days uh, because it does contain live foods. And I was happy to see that it, it came on time and uh, everything was, was packaged really well. And there's Doc's Eco Bites. How to dose phytoplankton? If you do not grow your own phytoplankton, purchase Doc's Eco Bites and start dosing in two different ways. If you plan to dose indirectly, the task could be as simple as measuring out a few capfuls of the stuff and pouring it indiscriminately into your tank. Uh, if on the other hand you want to feed specific corals or clams, uh, then you will need an eyedropper, a turkey bass, or a pipette, or other tool to help you disperse the phyto right where you want it. And using a protein skimmer when dosing phytoplankton, um, that's another important thing to remember that your protein skimmer, if left on while you dose phytoplankton for your corals, will skim the phytoplankton out of your aquarium. So it's best to turn it off. Now you may be asking, well, how do I store phytoplankton? Phytoplankton cultures you intend to feed to your marine aquarium are generally best kept in the refrigerator. If the bottle was to warm up to room temperature, the phyto would most likely die and follow up the water in the bottle. So if your phytoplankton culture smells spoiled, it probably is. Dispose of it and just start over with a fresh bottle. Another consideration when storing phytoplankton in your refrigerator is that the phyto will settle to the bottom of the bottle. If the tiny cells of phyto that are stuck at the bottom of the bottle remain stuck there too long, they're going to die. Make sure you shake up your phytoplankton culture every few days to keep the phyto suspended in the water column rather than layered on the bottom of the bottle. Again, if you just want to try phytoplankton or want to start seeing how it can positively affect your reef aquarium, I recommend using Doc's EcoBites. And Dr. Ecosystem has a beautiful website that I'll put a link to in the description below. 
go check them out because they're awesome. I have some other videos coming out soon on their other products and foods which my corals love. Uh, but for now, I hope you understand phytoplankton and what they do in the reef aquarium. Now, you just got one more thing to do, which is to click that subscribe button. It's going to be the best thing you ever do. Also, like the video below, and if you have any questions at all, leave it in the comment section below. If you like this shirt, I'm posting a link to the website called Reefer Tees where I got it. They are awesome, so go to that website too. Alright guys, remember, keep your those nitrates low. George, out.